Hello Pisces, welcome to another love reading. This reading will be all about your person, the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking or feeling about you and what are their intentions towards you for the near future? So let's get into this for Pisces. For Pisces, what does Pisces need to know? Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay. Hmm. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more, Spirit, about this connection. Tell me more about this connection between Pisces. 31, bad health. Tell me more. Mature man. So, you know, obviously you could be dealing with someone older uh, masculine energy does not have to be a male. Um, this could also be that there's someone that you know that you or your person knows that is an older masculine energy that is not doing well um, health-wise. But I'm also picking up toxicity. I know it's weird, but with bad health, you know, I'm literally taking that as kind of like the connection could be unhealthy. We'll see. We will see. Bottom of the deck, I have a mature woman. So this could be an older couple or it could be very mature. Um, someone that is already, you know, well into adulthood. If you want to take that literally. Um, it could be someone surrounding the connection as well. Um, so Pisces, what I'm doing here today is I have two different decks. One for you one for your person. Um, so, you know, feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Spirit, tell me about Pisces. What can you tell me about Pisces? Can you tell me about Pisces? What's the energy that Pisces is bringing to this connection? Moth. Yep, and look, I have the octopus at the bottom of the deck. The octopus is about unhealthy attachments, gossip, uh, entanglements. And the moth is kind of like a card about being drawn to something. Um, it could, e um, could even be an illusion here. Let me look at those keywords. Impulsive, hasty, wishful. The grass is greener on the other side. We're attracted to easy solutions or anything shiny and new. This could lead to uh, disappointment. No matter the illusion, no one is exempt from trials and tribulations. So yeah, it's almost like someone's drawn to something, uh, but it ends up being like unhealthy possibly here. Let's see, what else? Spirit, tell me more about Pisces. Tell me more, spirit. Oh, Pisces, what energy are they bringing into this connection? And it could be also that, you know, you were drawn to something that uh, appeared good at first, but maybe it just wasn't. Yeah, look at this, sudden realization, clarity, truth, epiphany. A sudden realization has brought new clarity. So you realize something about this. You know, you have new clarity about this. bottom of the deck I have past life so this could be regarding a past person um, something that happened in the past you know and you had a reading recently as well where you were trying to seek answers about something because maybe it seemed off 
All right, let's clarify these energies. There are any more about Pisces. I'm using the Vice Versa Tarot deck here. I'm gonna do it like this. I, I love this deck because I can literally mess with it back, forth, upside down, upright. There's a photo for either side. And it's beautiful artwork too, I love that. Tell me more for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know, Spirit? Tell me more. Tell me more about Pisces and the energy. We got judgment. I mean, that is an awakening for sure. I think you've had some sort of an awakening here. Yeah, and this is the Queen of... I think this is the Queen of Wands. Yeah. Queen of Wands. But it's the back of... So no, not only have you gotten some sort of awakening here with the Judgment card, but I feel like you want to do something about that. Bottom of the deck, the devil reversed. Yep, breaking free of something unhealthy. No, lo no longer feeling stuck or bound to something. Capricorn energy. Top of the deck, I have the nine of swords reversed. No longer letting fear hold you back. So let's see. Oh my gosh. We have strength reversed. Leo energy. Gonna just put that on the side here because I, I hadn't asked my question yet. Tell me about judgment, spirit. Can you give me some clarity about the judgment card? Why is judgment here? The magician reverse. Four of cups. Nope. Yeah, four of cups. So there's something here that you weren't happy about, uh, you weren't satisfied, fulfilled with the Four of Cups. You were closed off to new opportunities, maybe you couldn't see something right in front of you. The Magician Reverse could be somebody manipulative or it could be that you weren't able to manifest something here. Oh my god, that one just fell out too. Nine of Cups reversed, yep. So you weren't satisfied, you didn't get your wish There could have been an, a compromise here. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. This could be related to love, whatever satisfied, you know, maybe you weren't fulfilled or satisfied here. Maybe you were disinterested in something having to do with this other person or just outside of this person and it affected this connection. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. I feel like you want something, Pisces. Nine of Swords reverse once again. Tell me about the Nine of, or not the Nine, the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands the Hermit reverse, Virgo energy. The sun reversed. Once again with being unhappy. And look, I have the ten of cups at the bottom of the deck here. I feel like this is what you're focused on. What's this, the higher font? Yeah, higher font reverse at the top of the deck. Okay. Um, I'm getting so many messages, hold on. I feel like you had a sudden realization, an awakening about a situation or a person. I think you realized that you weren't truly happy, that maybe the connection wasn't healthy or something was unhealthy about the way you approached this connection, the way this person approached this connection, vice versa. Um, I think you want to address this, but I think also this is going to take courage to address. Maybe you're trying to find that courage now. Because now you're motivated by being emotionally fulfilled, happy, 
uh, finding your own happy ending here. And that might be rebelling against what's expected of you or might be ending a situation. Can you get one more, please? For Pisces. Just bring me some more clarity, please. For Pisces. Yeah, Six of Swords. Thank you, Spirit. So yes, this is about moving forward, moving on. What else is out there? Seven of Cups. What other choices do I have? Imagining something else. So let's look at your person's energy. Remember, Pisces, you can flip this energy if, you, if it resonates more. Tell me more about this person that Pisces is dealing with, Spirit. Give me some more insight into this person that Pisces is dealing with. The whale energy this is typically okay so I feel like this could be that mature energy coming up the whale typically um, they are very wise given what they've been through they have a depth to them but sometimes this card you know depending on what else I get um, sometimes this card can mean that someone's suppressing something deep down um, maybe they are keeping something to themselves, you know? And that, well, that might be the case. I have the golden egg at the bottom of the deck. This is about some sort of truth that maybe hasn't been expressed with the golden egg. Yeah, this is about a message from the heart. Being comfortable with, you know, being vulnerable. Let's see, what else can we get for this person? Tell me more about this person that Pisces is dealing with, Spirit. Tell me more about this person. Oh my god that one just like flew moving forward movement ending cycles you are moving forward into a new chapter bottom of the deck unexpected event this is like my tower card so this could be an unexpected move um something shocking that shakes things up some of you are dealing with a leo okay let's get in here Tell me about this person's spirit. This person that Pisces is dealing with and thinking about at this time. Tell me about this person, please. Can you tell me about this person? Move this over. Tell me about this person. What do we need to know about this other person? King of Wands. So they're taking some sort of action as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. There's also Virgo energy here. Seven of Cups reversed. Bottom of the deck, the Hermit. You both have the hermit although yours is reversed which you know it's I'm almost getting this sense of you know if this isn't you moving forward this is someone that you are in a connection with moving forward um, or you could be moving forward from this person but 
with the Hermit Reverse on your side, this is a card usually about, it could be about coming back, um, like, you know, maybe you withdrawn and are now coming back, or this could be a card about uh, ignoring what your inner voice is telling you, um, not listening to advice or counsel or guidance from spirit, kind of retreating into your shell, you know, refusing to come out kind of energy. So we'll see. But I have a feeling that you're the one having some sort of realization. So you're being moved by or, or motivated by what you've realized. And I, I just got the message. Some of you may, might have been given advice by someone that you trusted. And before you listened to their advice and now you're not listening to their advice anymore. Okay, tell me about the King of Wands. Let's focus on your person. Tell me about this King of Wands. What is this about? Seven of Wands. Fighting for something. Fighting back. What about the King of Wands? Ace of Coin. Wow. For an opportunity here. Love this king of wands. They could also be making an offer to you, wanting to make an offer. Temperance reverse, Sagittarius energy. So something, uh, more time, more patience, more um, effort is needed for this. Bottom of the deck, I have the nine of coin. So it's very interesting because I feel like Something's off balance here and this person's like fighting back or fighting for something that they want. It's just, it's not able to happen just yet. What's the Seven of Cups reverse about? Why is the Seven of Cups reverse? Wow, we have the Fool. What's the Seven of Cups reversed about? Five of Cups. Some sort of loss, disappointment, regret. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. I feel like you're not able to see my cards here. Tell me about the Seven of Cups reverse. King of Cups. Hmm. Bottom of the deck, I have Strength reverse. And then behind that, the Six of Swords. So I feel like this is related to you because you have the Strength card reverse and you also have the Six of Swords. This is about lacking courage or, or unable to bring control to a situation, not having the strength maybe to move on completely. Maybe you're finding your strength now. It's just gonna take some time. So basically, this Seven of Cups reverse, I feel like this is someone making a decision regarding being free of something or starting over. Um, there are regrets over the past, and I feel like this is tied to feelings about you. Like, it's almost like there's whatever regret this is, is probably related to you. Let's see, can I get some more insight into this person? That Pisces is dealing with spirit. I'm using my secret moon oracle deck here. Spirit, tell me more about this person.
I'm afraid to tell you how I feel. You matter to me. Can I get one more? For this person, please. Right. I have a choice to make. So, I'm afraid to tell you how I feel. Interesting. That's probably why we have strength reverse with the king of cups. So this person is attracted to you, cares about you. Um, they might even want to make an offer here with the ace of pentacles, something solid. Uh, I feel like they want to fight for this, fight for you, but there's something here kind of in the way with temperance reverse. This moving forward card, it could mean that this person left in the past, um, or perhaps they would need to come visit you, or maybe you moved forward from them. Take it as a resonance, because I'm seeing all of that in the, in the spread. So I feel like this person is going to try to reassure you or convince you that you matter to them. But I feel like it's almost like you you want to see that through action, not through words, because you, I, I feel like you're no, no longer interested in something that only looks good on the outside or something that sounds good. It, it needs to be good as well. It's kind of what I'm getting here. So let's see, where's all of this headed? Where's all of this headed? What's happening next? What, I'm gonna use this stick. I'm gonna pick a couple cards here for the near future outcome. I need more spirit. What's happening next here? Let me just move these over. What's next for this connection? What's happening next in the near future? Six of Pentacles. What's next? What's happening next, Spirit for Pisces? Four of Swords. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune. Holy crap. <laughs> Interesting. I was about to say that I don't see someone opening up or taking action right now, even though I feel this is what they want to do. I feel this is someone that wants to give you something or you want something from them, but it's just not, not really happening. Uh, and then here's the Wheel of Fortune, almost as if Things are going to be moving forward here. There's going to be some sort of change, a lucky break, uh, something that propels things forward. Um, this is fate and fortune on your side. Spirit guiding something towards you or guiding you forward. I feel like someone's doing some serious thinking with the Four of Swords, like really reflecting. And it's about like giving and taking, you know, they're thinking about giving and receiving. Um, some of you could even be wondering if you're just being breadcrumbed, um, if you're just going to be the one that gives, 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 and the other person doesn't. Um, but I feel like the Wheel of Fortune, no matter what this is up here, the Wheel of Fortune is here almost as if to say this was meant to happen. Exactly how it's happening so far, this is what is meant to happen. This is your lucky chance, an opportunity. And, um, you know, it's yours if you want it. All right, Pisces, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this resonated for you. If it did, leave me a comment. Let me know. I love to hear from you. 
uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.